Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another season 10 gameplay guide guys. We're going to cover Kale top lane today. A champion who, well, I admit, I think it's a really good champion for solo queue. I've seen like somebody in Challenger who is currently a Kale one trick and she's been playing Kale a lot. I've had to play against her a lot and she's doing really well. She's actually in the top 20 at this very moment. So let's cover Kale today. Really good champion for solo queue. Doesn't take that many games to learn and master. So let's just get right into it, guys. Uh, first of all, you can find the full runes, full build, the best setup for Kale. You can find all of that in the description below. So definitely make sure to check that out. And uh, with that being said, let's go for Kill. So this is a very interesting matchup for uh, Kale, actually. We're getting level 2 gank. Huh? Interesting. Wow. Alright. We're being level 2 ganked. So this is actually a really interesting matchup for Kale. Because um, if we get close to Kiana and she lands like CC on us, we're probably going to die really hard. We have to freeze the lane on our side of the lane. That's the kind of playstyle you want to have on Kale in general. You mainly want to be playing like safe throughout the early game and like later on in the game, uh, you're going to scale really well. Like after buying your first item, which is most likely going to be either Pickaxe or Berserker Griefs. Uh, after buying this item and like reaching level 6, you actually have a really strong level 6, which uh, which I'm going to show you guys. Like the pre-6 is one of the weakest things about Kale, but as soon as you get through the pre-level 6, um, you're actually going to be really strong, which I'm going to show you guys. Oh, wow. That's really unlucky there. I'm actually going to put like an extra point into my Q and then poke uh, Kiana with it. There we go. So, the way how you want to play with Kale in the early game, or especially on pre-6, you just want to drop down as many free Qs as you can. You don't want to use your E that much on your opponent, because if they don't have, um, if they're like full health, uh, your E doesn't really do that much. So you mainly don't want to use your E until, uh, like only if you want to farm up. You just want to spam your Q over and over again, and after like pre-6, it's going to be really good. Nice. He missed that one. I'm gonna pop my potion here already. Great. My Q is coming back up again, so I drop this one down, do like another damage on this guy. Don't forget, like, I'm not just dropping down my Qs on Kiana to do damage early on. Seeing if they're like I have like a chance. But I'm also dropping down my Q on the creep, so I'm actually getting the creep for my own. So we're doing two things at the same time, guys. Remember that, it's really important. Let's take this one. There we go. Drop down my E there to get that C as well. You mainly want to get as much farm as you can throughout the pre-6. Because everything matters after the level 6 the most. She's trying her hardest that she can to put me down in the early game. Obviously, it's not going to work. Right there, I not only did I hit Kiana, but I've also got the cannon and the creep with my Q as well. So, you definitely want to make sure... You just don't just farm with your E, but actually use your Q effectively to trade, but like get the farm at the same time. That's the most effective way to play Kale. Also, freezing down the lane around this side, doing it like this, um, it puts you into a really good position the entire time, and it tilts off the enemy opponent there uh, with it as well. She has to. She's being forced to go back, otherwise she will have to TP. Let me just take the one. Nice. Just dropping down the Q right there. Just gonna pop my Q, uh, my cookie already because uh, she might be able to trade me very hard right now. Whoops. Okay. I'll get all of this. Pop my E there. And there we go. Now we can actually push down the next wave because he's going back to base right now. And after pushing down this wave, we will be level 6 and we buy the, the boots. And everything is going to change. Very nice, we got that. Finally, we can now have ranged. Like, the pre-6 is just the most annoying thing about Kale, but like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna push this one here as well, because he's still walking back to lane. If he tries to show up around behind me, then the jungler's gonna be here, but I should be able to run pretty easily. Because I got my passive uh, being stacked up right now. Okay, there we go. And now we can go back. We don't even have to use my teleport. Because 
I we've been pushing in this lane towards uh, Kiana into the tower. So the the wave will crash right here. She will have to push in the next wave in order to do something. Nice. She will have to push this entire wave if she wants to reset the lane. And by the time, I will already be there. So, the reason I'm buying the Berserker Greaves early on, I pretty much do this in like 99% of all my matchups, especially like, except in some, but most of the matchups, I always rush boots. The reason for that, it gives attack speed, which is really good. It gives movement speed, and that helps you position in your lane. Now, Kale's biggest weakness is being chased down and like being destroyed. So if you buy boots early on, people cannot chase you anymore, which means you can kite them down safely. Like this. We have more movement speed than she does, so it's just a matter of just um it's just a matter of hitting the slow. She will go for that one. Oh okay. My Q didn't apply there. But yeah, that's that's it guys. It's just a matter of just kiting them down all the way. As soon as we land like a Q. You only want to trade if you have your Q. Remember that. Really important. So obviously Kale is like a mid late game champion, but you can play her for the early game as well. She will go for that CS right there, drop down my Q, do like a massive amount of damage, back off again. My Q is going to come back in 4 seconds, she will go for that CS right there, so I'm going to drop down my Q again. Hit the Q, back off again. Now this time she's low enough for me to kite her down, so I'm going to start pushing this lane really hard right now. And we're going to poke her down on her tower, because we're like... We have a lot more HP right now. We're stronger than she is. So we push this in all the way. She might even consider using teleport. Don't be surprised. Oh, Vi's actually got a kill on the Camille. I was about to move there. This guy is right behind me. Just drop down the Q again. Back off. Do like an extra odd attack. I still got my cookie as well, so... Really good. And we just keep repeating this. Technically, we won't lose lane like this. Hit down a Q again. Back off. Just relax. Get like the CS if we can. She will go for that CS. So I'm going to drop down my Q again. Do another. Like, this is the kind of place you want to have, guys. Kale is really not that bad as what people say that she is. People just don't know how to play her properly. Which explains everything here. Drop down Q again. This time we didn't hit her, but like, whatever. We can dive top lane if uh, my Vi decides to, co uh, to come here. Okay, push it down real quick. Uh, I want to get that planning before I go back though. Very nice. We got that planning. Extra gold. My Vi actually got that thing there already. Really good. So now I can just push in the next wave. And then go back after that. I don't want to fight her right now because she has item advantage. So we want to avoid Vites as, uh, as much as possible. I just want to I just want to sit here. Just relax. Let Kiana push in the lane. I'm just going to pop my cookie already. And use my heal too. Yeah guys, like, we're not necessarily just getting kills. We're just we're already winning lane because we already have a, a lane advantage over him. We already have more creeps than he does, and um, we already have an extra plating which he doesn't have. So technically, we're already winning the lane really hard right here. We just have to go back to base and like buy my item right now. Do like a mass amount of damage. Back off again. My Q is going to come back in ninety uh, in two seconds. For, don't forget, guys. He already used teleport. Which means I even have teleport advantage right now. Okay, now we're going to back off. We will buy item. Come back. And then we're going to fight him. Because we're stronger than he is right now. Nice. I've got this one. Uh, let me just get back real quick. So the next item you want to buy is going to be this one. Hexa Gunblade. This item is really good for 1v1ing. So... If you're playing Kale, you always want to buy Hexa Gunplay because this item is broken on Kale. This item is really, really, really broken. Nice. Good. We have like a 20 CS lead over Kiana. And we have like a plating lead as well. 
So our lead is already massive against him. Now, if we get like a single jungle gank, we could even um, we could even win the lane further. We could even uh, win the lane immediately if I come stop lane right now. Okay, let's go. My vice already top side. He's just taking the camp. We can dive this one pretty easily too, so. Thank you. Yeah, the lane is pretty much over right now. We were already solo winning this lane really hard, and my jungler is showing up topside right now too. Nice. Just because we set up so well, like this ward right here, everything. Great. And this is where the game begins, like, we're not- we're playing Kale, guys. Kale needs to scale up towards the mid late game. She's not even an early game champion. She's honestly a really bad champion early game. But if you play her accordingly to what I do, if you, if you play her exactly the way how I do, you can win so many matchups brainlessly. Like, Kale is just. Kale is so much more than just a mid late game champion. It's just really sad to see that nobody knows what a champion, what kind of champion this truly really is. Yes, the pre-level 6 is really bad, I have to admit. But honestly, if you know how to play her after level 6, it's like so OP. This champion is really OP. Okay, push this down all the way. Like, even just the wave clear of Kale is just so OP, because one Q is the entire backline. <laughs> just dropping down a single Q and you get the entire backline of the entire wave, it's just... I don't understand how nobody has, how nobody knows about this champ. Good. Doesn't matter if my team is feeding because I'm going to carry them. We walk back top side. This time we're going to take the. Uh, this time we're just going to force a kill on Kiana, and then uh, we're going to force the tower there as well. We're also getting level level 11 right here, so technically we're even getting stronger right now. Sometimes I even forget that I have a level 11 like upgrade just because like how this is it's just because how overpowered Kale already is level 6 Level 6 is just so OP already And now we even have more damage Now we can take this tower Great There we go, and now it's a win because I'm going to kill everyone I already have a I already have a level lead of two. I'm not gonna fight her because she actually has ultimate. It will be a really big risk. I don't want to fight. Don't want to. At least we're getting that dragon because Camille's top side trying to kill me. We just have a dragon for free right now. Just gonna wait up for this guy to push it out again because Camille's actually top side. So we, we keep uh, pushing Topsa from now on. The only thing you want to do is uh, split push in this game as much as you can. And if you don't get to split push, you want to group up with your team and use your ultimate to um, to to kill like five men at once. Your ultimate is like super high damage. It's what people forget a lot. Okay, let's push it all the way in. Just like this. And back off again. So what people forget all the time on Kale is the fact that her ultimate does like uh, an insane amount of damage. You can engage into a five man team and do like 400 damage per champion. Which is insane. And after reaching level 6 we do like a thousand damage if we add up like enough AP. It's what people forget a lot. Kale is just a lot more OP than people think but people don't play her right the way how she uh, should be played. Let me get that one. Get like a ward. Nice. So we have the Hexa Gunblade. We have an upcoming Nash Astute. The next time you want to get after that is going to be the um, the Rage Blade and Hurricane. 
They're like really good items. They fit really well on KL2. There we go. Look at that. Wave clearing on KL is like so good too. So all we have to do right now is just stay mid lane and like push out really hard because my team is already winning really hard and I'm winning really hard too. So technically they're all behind. All of them are behind. This got the Herald. Great. Push down the next tower too. I think it's pretty much going to be the game like this. Hey, go back in you. Okay. Now that's the only problem about uh, about uh, about Kale. People don't really know what their ultimate like, what to do with it. Like that's the only problem. Like ulting your teammates if they don't know what to do with your ultimate, <laughs> it's basically pointless. So you might as well want to use it yourself sometimes. This sounds like an exception. But generally, I use my ultimate to uh, for myself to jump into like a five man. It's often really pointless to do something with your ultimate because people don't expect uh, to get your ultimate. It's based your ultimate is not there to survive to help your your jungler survive. It's there to do damage. It's what it's what you got to understand when playing kill. If you play like that, like your KL doing damage, like your ultimate doing damage, then it's really easy to understand how her, how her ultimate works. Of course, you can use her ultimate to survive, to help your teammates survive, but generally you just want to use it for damage, that's all. I got him. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be the game like this. I don't. I wouldn't even be surprised if they start surrendering right now. Okay, let's get the next wave too, and like we start for uh, forcing the tower. Nice. And we got tower. Thank you. You see how much damage I have right now, guys. Mm, I can zone off. I can zone them off. Uh, never mind. I don't know what they're up to right now, to be honest. Let's go back real quick. There we go. So after buying the um, after buying the hexagon blade and Nash too, the next time you want to get is going to be a rage blade. And after getting rage blade, you mainly want to get like a hurricane or something something aggressive. Like uh, for example, a guardian engine could fit really well on the kale, but you can also buy stuff like a Rebidance. You could even buy infinity edge if you want. So you could basically buy anything as a last item. Kale is really e like really easy in terms of building. You can build anything you want on like the last item. Everything works. Okay. Okay. We're going to get the dragon then. Thank you. You saw that, guys? I wasn't using Wukong just... I wasn't just ulting Wukong purely for survive. I was ulting Wukong because he was going to go in like three man. And do like so much damage. That's the thing you gotta know, man. Ultimate for damage, not for survivability. Of course both, but just go damage. Focus on doing dealing more damage. And now we got this thing here too. Nice. So before going back, uh, I might as well just farm out as much as I can from the enemy jungle so they will fall behind too. Just like that. 
place down a ward here so we can see them coming. Camille's also walking down here. Got him. Thank you. He didn't even expect me there. Okay, we can just force him on our tower. Nice. And then we can force these guys too. Oh, that one didn't land. That would have been a free kill there. That's going to be it, guys. That's pretty much the game. Honestly, they won't come back from this one. I think, I think we can just turn this around. Ah, I'll just take it the safe way. I'm just gonna take it the safe way. Not gonna fight them here. So my rage blade is coming up now too. That's like that's it, guys. If I get my rage blade, the game is done. Uh, they won't win anymore. It's just a matter of just all inning with all auto attacks. That's it. Nice. And let's go for that Baron right now. All we need right now is to get that Baron. That's all. They're all topside. <laughs> like, honestly, there's nothing for them to farm up anymore. We're taking the entire game over right here. We can go bottom, kill that Camille, push down the bot lane, and like, that's it. They're tilted. I don't even think they're trying to play anymore. It's just they're just so tilted. Nice. Yeah, they're like tilted. They're really tilted. Yep, we can dive this guy too. Nice. We can get this tower and then it's over. Yeah, so we only need one tower right now and that's it. If Vi is going to engage into the uh, into the enemy team, I can just pop my ultimate on Vi and like do a lot, a lot of damage. No, it's going out. Oh, are you kidding me? Free damage. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'm, I'm gonna TP. Well, this this is all you need to know about Kale top lane, guys. Honestly, a really broken champion. A lot more broken than what people think it is. They're really a lot more broken than what people think it is. If you're looking for like an easy champion to pick up in solo queue, guys. Just pick up Kale, man. Especially in low elo, mid elo. Not even just talking about high elo, but just talking about low to mid elo where people don't even understand understand how to play against a Kale. She is so, 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 so broken, guys. It's unbelievable. Don't even be surprised if Riot will nerf Kale in the future because the Q is just insane. Oh. Ah, I, okay, I'm actually gonna catch her. They're actually, they're trying to defend this, this Nexus like so hard. <laughs> they're trying to defend it so hard. They're, they're doing their best. They're doing everything they can to stop this Nexus from falling down there.
I actually, all we, just, all we need right now is this Baron and like that's it, so whatever. They can buy as much time as they need, but it's it's over. It's the game. Baron and finish. There we go. Okay, let's go Baron. Great. So... One thing I do like about Kale, guys, I gotta be honest here. If you're building the Hexagon Blade into Nash Dude, you're already doing like massive damage with auto attacks and like your abilities in general. But if you're buying Rage Blade and in combination with Hurricane with crits and stuff, it's just so OP. Hurricane gives crits, it's just really, really, really good with Kale. Let's take this. They're not going to be here. This is fine. Let's stand closer. There we go. Okay, let's go finish. I'm even close to level 16. I haven't even had my last upgrade yet and we're already so strong. Here we go. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Look look at my ultimate. Yep, that's it. And that's the game. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully you guys have learned something about Kale with the matchup, with the team fighting, with the roaming, with everything. Like, hopefully you guys have learned everything. And uh, with that being said, for Ruins Full Build, you can find it in the description. And uh, with that being said, thank you for watching today. And I'll catch you guys up in the next upcoming gameplay guide, man. Peace.